Hey, so I've gotten some requests for quarantine book recommendations, so here we are. This is the book that I was reading before this all went down. Um, I haven't really had the attention span for a longer novel, so I haven't picked it up in a little bit, but I look forward to it, to going back to it. It's great, as it says on the front, it's funny and brilliant. Um, and I think the relevance of people buffeted by global, um, global forces will be useful to anyone going forward. More matching my attention span is this, been, is this collection of David Sedaris diary entries. Uh, over 25 years, you watch him uh, age, if not mature, and you can just dip in as little or as much as you want. In our paper product focus times, there's a relevant entry here from September 20th, 1982. Raleigh, a joke I heard. Do you know how to bake toilet paper? Nope, but I know how to brown it on one side. So if you're going to be ordering books, please remember that your local bookstores, they do online shipping too, and they can really use your help more than any big giant. But if you can't wait till something gets delivered, I'm going to read to you from George and Martha, The Complete Stories of Two Best Friends, written by James Marshall and shared with me by my best friend and very patient camera person. This is story number two, The Trip. George invited Martha on an ocean cruise. Is this the boat? said Martha. Use your imagination, said George. I'll try, said Martha. Very soon it was raining cats and dogs. This is unpleasant, said Martha. Use your imagination, said George. Think of it as a thrilling storm at sea. I'll try, said Martha. Lunch is served, said George and he gave Martha a soggy cracker. Martha was not impressed. Use your imagination, said George. Oh, looky, said Martha. What a pretty shark. A shark, cried George. George took a spill. But where's the shark, he said. Really, said Martha, you must learn to use your imagination. All right, have a great night, everyone. Remain distant.